now moving towards the optical lever comparator okay sometimes the optical lever comparators or optical comparators are also known as optical mechanical comparators okay why is it so so let us understand in this video okay so what is the principle of optical lever comparator is so it works based on the fundamental optical laws as the edge of the shadow is projected on the curved graduated scale to indicate the comparison measurement okay so this is the basic fundamental optical law okay so over here you can see one diagram okay so what is this diagram so one light source will be there okay every optical instrument it will require a light source okay so what will happen the light rays will fall on this uh, lenses okay so the lenses are there so the lens optical ray, light rays will fall on this lenses okay then one mirror is there and this mirror is pivoted at this point okay why it is pivoted that we will understand in the in this video okay but before that just understand or just try to get the idea behind this optical comparator okay so firstly what is happening the light source is or the light rays are incident on this mirror okay we know what is the property of mirror so mirror will reflect the rays coming on it okay so these are the reflected rays and this is the scale over here you can see scale is employed okay so what happens in this is that the scale will have some uh it will have some readings on it okay and the light falling from this light source the mirror is reflecting those light rays to the scale okay now over here you can see one plunger is there what is the function of the plunger so it will check the uh, deflections on the work piece okay the deflections could be up and down okay or in the transverse motion okay so this plunger what is uh, it is employed in order to uh, give the displacement from the work piece okay again this plunger is pivoted at this point okay so as this plunger moves upwards so what will happen so this link it will move downwards are you getting this as this plunger moves upwards as this part is moving upward and as this lever is pivoted at this point what will happen so the complete link will try to move in the downward direction okay so this is the pivoted point of the mirror then this is the support point of the mirror okay so this lever or this s shaped shaped lever it will act as a or this linkage will act as a lever okay so what is the purpose of a lever so generally levers are employed in order to get or in, in order to do more work okay by providing less power okay so the function of a lever is to minimize the efforts or the function of the lever is to minimize the human efforts okay so this plunger as this plunger moves upwards what will happen so this complete link it will move downwards okay as this mo link moves downwards what will happen so the support is step taken away from the mirror okay so that the mirror will come down to the 
or it will come down to the lever okay and as the lever comes down the mirror comes down and as the mirror comes down so what will happen so the angle of incidence and angle of reflection those two angles will change okay angle of incidence will also change and angle of reflect or angle of reflection of this incident rays and reflected rays both angles will change okay and because of that what will happen because of uh, with this phenomenon or with this uh, what can we say with this method we can understand if the workpiece is manufactured correctly or if the workpiece is up to the standards or not okay so this is one of the types of optical lever comparators okay and why is it known as the optical mechanical comparator so because we are using this lever over here okay that's why we are or that's why these comparators are known as optical mechanical comparators okay so the light source then uh, the lenses are there then the mirror is there okay all these are the parts of the optical and the lever or the linkages then this plunger all these are the parts of the mechanical okay or mechanical system that's why it is the combination of optical and mechanical both streams and that's why this comparator is known as optical mechanical comparator okay now you can see there are lens l1 then l2 then l3 and l4 okay so using this lens we can find out the first pivot point from the plunger how much is the distance in between the pivot point and the plunger then second from the pivot point up to this support point okay how much is the distance that is l2 then l3 is the distance between the next pivot that is the mirror pivot and the support okay so distance between these two is nothing but l3 and the last distance is from this pivot mirror pivot up to the scale okay so this distance is nothing but the l4 distance okay so using this l1 l2 l3 and l4 distances we can find out how much is the dimension of the manufactured component okay and we can compare the original part and the manufactured part using this comparator okay so next point about this in mechanical optical comparator small variation in the plunger movement is magnified first by mechanical system and then by the optical system okay so if a small movement is there in this plunger then that mechanical system or this lever okay why the lever is employed so if the small displacement in plunger is observed then what will happen because of the lever this small displacement of the plunger that will be magnified okay and that magnified input will be given to this mirror okay and the rays coming out from this light source they are falling on this mirror okay and that those rays will fall on the scale as well okay so the small displacement of the plunger that is magnified by the this lever okay so the small movement is magnified with the help of this lever and plunger arrangement okay and the next mechanical mechanical system and the optical system the optical system it will 
get the uh, output on the scale provided on the mirror uh, sorry provided in front of the mirror okay so this is the principle of optical mechanical comparator or you can say optical lever comparator okay so what are the advantages so advantages are less friction and inertia okay and because of less friction and less inertia result is more accurate okay so that's why higher accuracy is uh, given by this instrument okay then second advantage is magnification is very much high okay as lenses are used in this uh, comparator so what is the purpose of this lenses so lenses generally diverse the rays coming out from the light source okay so because of that we can get the high magnification and again lever mechanical lever is used so again the function of the lever is to magnify the displacement taken by the plunger okay then the next advantage is it enables the reading to be taken irrespective of the room lighting conditions okay if suppose the room inside portion of the room is dark or if suppose the inside portion of the room is bright so it doesn't matter how is the uh, lighting conditions inside the room okay so because of this optical comparator we can easily take the readings okay irrespective of the right lighting condition inside the room okay and last advantage is high range and no parallax okay we can employ this comparator for large range or high range okay from uh, few mm's up to some meters okay we can employ this comparator okay and there is no parallax error okay as the uh, image is formed on the scale so that's why there is no parallax error okay now moving towards the disadvantages so first disadvantages is it requires a light source okay if no light source is there we cannot take the readings then second part is it is large and expensive okay the size is very much large and it cost more money to buy it okay the next disadvantage is it is inconvenient for continuous use okay if you are using it continuously then it it is uh, inconvenient for that purpose okay and last disadvantage is the instrument setting may drift okay so the if you want to set the instrument then it may give you some problems okay so once the instrument is set then you will have to carry out the uh, experiments or you will have to take the readings okay so frequently you cannot set this instrument okay so these are some disadvantages of this mechanical optical comparator or optical lever comparator you can say okay so thank you very much for watching this video if you have any doubts let me know into the comment box okay thank you very much